he does frequent the ice on station and start the growth. Uh, did he indicate that he was there on April 26th? He did, of 2013. Uh, 2013. Uh, did he tell you what time approximately? Approximately 5 p.m. Now, did he also indicate whether or not he knew Jessica Herring? He said he didn't know Jessica. <laughs> and uh, did you ask, uh, kind of get a timeline from him for that evening? Did he tell you where he was during the hours of 9.30ish until 12.30 the next morning was due to the second? At that time, he indicated, following the timeline, I asked him, he said he was at the Exxon at 5 p.m. He then left there and went to a a uh, card sh shop where he played some card games where he left at about 9.30 p.m. He arrived home at about 9.45 going northbound on US 31 to his house at South Sheridan and he was at home from 9.45 p.m. until 12.30 a.m. the following day. Okay. Did uh, he indicate to you what he did at 12.30, where he went, what he was doing? He said he went to his deceased grandfather's home on Bailey Street, which would be in the city of North Shores. Um, he went to get a piece of wood to fix or build onto his dog kennel. Does that look like the van you inspected that particular day? It is a silver dodge green caravan with the same plate that I observed in the driveway of 1842 South Shore. And uh, I'm assuming top to back, <coughs> and, and can you describe for the court the inspection you did in the back? Um, we opened up the back, he opened up the back, and we looked through it. Um, it was very clean, uh, like to the point where there were vacuum marked lines still on the carpet, um, smelled a cleaning product. He advised that he had just had it detailed because he just purchased it. Month prior, Lincoln Auto and Grand Rapids, and uh, the day they took it, it had not been detailed yet, so they had returned to collect them off at a later date and had it detailed because it smelled of smoke. You wrote that report October 21st, 2016. Correct. You waited three and a half years to write a report of the conversations you just related here today in court with Mr. Willis in the search of his van. Correct. And Mr. Officer Baker also filed a report, although it's in Lieutenant Casher's name at the top, but it's signed Sergeant Baker at the end. He also filed a report, right? You know that? I don't know that. You didn't know that? Because it's the same date as the report that you submitted. October 21st of 2016. Okay. You didn't see his report? I have not. Would it surprise you to know that it's practically a mirror reflection of your report, almost word for word? It wouldn't surprise me we're both at the same interview. October 21st, 2016, when you wrote the reports about the story you're telling us here We have discussed many times over the years since 2013 the events of the interview with Mr. Willis. Did you take notes during the interview with Mr. Willis? We took notes. Right. And that was what we were submitted on the tip sheet that we put in the computer, which we then drafted our report in October of 2016.